guys, you are in luck because today I have Ken Oliver in the Blitzy studio and he's gonna show us his sprinkle and spritz technique using color burst, liquid metals, his brand new stencils, all on his mixed media artboards. It's gonna be awesome. So Ken, I'm gonna let you take it away. You guys are gonna love these new stencils. There are three new designs and they're really fun to use with color burst. To get started, I'm gonna use one of my mixed media mat boards. It's a high density mat board that's designed for mixed media projects. It's high density, so when you get it wet, it doesn't warp. And the cool thing is, on the front of it, it's coated with watercolor paper, so it's perfect for color burst. To get started, I'm gonna take one of my mixed media boards, I'll lay it flat on my work surface on the Best Ever Craft Mat, and this stencil is called Star Flower Swirl. You notice it's dry, my stencil's dry, I'm gonna lay the dry stencil right down on top of that mixed media board. And then I'm gonna sprinkle some color burst right on top of that. And I've chosen a cool color palette today. I'm gonna to use some ultramarine blue. This is going to be so pretty. I'm just gonna tap a little bit of ultramarine blue around on my stencil. I'm selectively choosing where I'm placing my color. And it doesn't take very much at all. In fact, you'll notice you might not even see very much on there at all. I'm putting some turquoise in, and I'm not taking a lot of time to make sure I get in every nook and cranny, because whenever I spray water on this, the water's gonna disperse the color, and it'll fill in the stencil. I'm gonna use some chartreuse, and you'll notice whenever I'm doing this, I'm tapping the bottle versus poofing it, like you get more control if you lightly tap it. I'm gonna grab some lime green, put a little lime green in here, See how when you tap it, you can direct or aim where you want your color burst to go? And I pretty much have like all the spaces filled with color burst. I am gonna go back right in the center. I'm gonna add some lemon yellow for a highlight. Got a couple places here where I can put in a little lemon yellow for highlights. It's gonna really make this pop. So if you see, there's really not a whole lot of color burst on here at all. Here's a tip, whenever you're sprinkling and spritzing with a stencil, make sure your stencil stays flat and don't move it. So now I'm gonna spritz my mixed media board with water. And it's really important whenever you're spritzing to use a misting bottle with an adjustable nozzle. It's important because whenever you mist, you wanna use a really fine mist that's almost like a cloud. You see how fine that is? That fine spray of water will help your color disperse very, very evenly. So make sure that you've got an adjustable nozzle that you can make really, really refined mist with. And now I'm gonna spritz it. So whenever I mist, I'm gonna be very direct. I'm gonna give this about three mist of water and watch that color develop. See how cool that is? Just like that, you've created a really beautiful little painting with just a little spritz and a sprinkle. You guys, isn't this so amazing and so easy? This is so beautiful and on its own, this would make a great little painting. It's beautiful. If you wanna make it more mixed media, you could come back into it and paint on some highlights with liquid metals and you could also take a, a Sharpie or a marker and trace around it and draw around it and create a beautiful mixed media piece. Absolutely love it. So there you have it, Sprinkle and Spritz with Ken Oliver's Color Burst and New Stencils.